<laughs> the the feedback loop though is is quite long. Like just you know, like uh, procurement at a large aerospace company as an example is where you know really good startups go to die, right? <laughs> um, so I think uh, for you know procurement cycles in certain cases of deals that we do are eighteen to twenty four months <laughs> from when they decide they want to buy something to when they actually buy it. And so you don't really want to be from showing it to them to when they want to buy it might be another nine, 10 months. Absolutely. Yeah. So so that cycle is is really, really long. Mm -hmm. And you only want to start entering that process uh, when you're really ready to do that, because that cycle also comes with uh, obviously really large deal sizes that are Mm -hmm. in the, you know, seven, eight, nine figures. But at the same time, you know, the you only get to that deal if you can survive that process, and mm-hmm. your product is also sort of enterprise grade. So a lot of people in enterprise software talk about, um, you know, is your software really enterprise grade? That means meeting, you know, the SLAs that a enterprise customer would expect. So that and this is everything from security to <clears throat> the way you handle data to, you know, there's a bunch of things around what you actually do, yeah. how you do them, yes. and how much instrumentation is there so you can they can check and and work things through. Yeah, and that can be both uh, a huge you know, moat as a company. Um, mm-hmm. So you can look at that as an advantage or a, a massive disadvantage. But in, uh, in our case, we have to be compliant to some of the highest standards in, in you know, the medical device in- industry and in aerospace and defense. Mm-hmm. And so these security certifications can take you know, two, three years from, mm-hmm. from when you start uh, trying to get them, right? And so there's a huge cycle there that you have to be willing to invest in to even have a shot at that type of market. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you know things like support, like do you have 24-7 staffed support? Are you always on call? Um, and then you know the actual service level agreements of the performance of your software, right? Like so if your software is instrumental and mission critical, it's great because you know customers will pay you a lot to, to have that perform well. But at the same time, it comes with a set of responsibilities that as a small company is much harder to handle, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and that is the, I think the sort of like most entrepreneurial problems, that's the uh, sort of chicken and egg thing you have to solve is how can you make those right investments without really uh, uh, being ready and, and being able to take the revenue from those customers in the short term, right? Mm-hmm. And so you have to make the right investments that sort of put you on the right path and then uh, ideally start generating some revenue with your customers before you're really ready to be the entire you know, system for that company. 